question four. We have this triangular diamond-shaped capacitor circuit. And again, we are looking for equivalent resistance, or equivalent capacitance. Okay, this can easily be rewritten a different way, if you wish. Might make it easier to understand. But if I start over here at A, I know that that wire comes to a four, four microfarad. I'm just gonna leave the microfarads off and just do four for the capacitance. I know that I'll be working in microfarad the entire time. Okay, uh, then it comes to a junction point, which is here. And then there are two capacitors in series from that point. So I'm gonna draw those in. Uh, the rest of this simply connects over to B. So I have my A and my B points. Uh, then there's another capacitor between point B and that junction. So I'm going to bring that down and I'm going to put that other capacitor in here just before that junction. Okay. Uh, this top one here was a 7 and the bottom one here was a 5. This one is a 6. And then from there to there it just connects back to A. So I can draw it like that. Again, it's a choice, you don't have to. So when I'm looking at this one, I'm looking for two that I can pull out by using the two cut, and I see the two in the center can easily be removed and replaced with something a bit simpler. So I'm going to start with A again, I'm going to go over. Here is a four. I'm going to replace both of these with one. Here's point B. And this one in the middle, the one in the middle needs to be uh, the product of these two, the equivalence of these two, being these are in series. Okay, We have to add them up as the one over, which means I'll have one over five plus one over seven, and that'll get inversed. Okay, One over five, one over seven, inverse, should give me 2.92. Okay, or thereabouts. Now this one's getting messy. It's kind of tough to see how exactly all of this can work and how we're going to be able to make this work. So I'm going to re I'm going to rewrite these in an order that looks more makes more sense. Okay? So I can, they're all wires. I can just bend them around. So what I want to do here is I want to have A start out. A comes and then there's this junction. Okay, so I'm going to make the junction look like that. Okay, so A comes and then this junction. Instead of having this one go down, I'm just going to have it go straight. And by doing that, it means that the 4 can go here. Okay, it comes up and it goes to the 4. Okay. The 4 comes over and then there's another junction. Okay. I'm going to have that junction come down. And I'll leave that one right where it is. Okay, so this is the 2.92. Okay, then it comes over to B, and there's this other junction. I didn't quite draw it out in that one there. Okay, which means we'll come over. There's another junction, and I'm going to have it go straight to B. The other part of that junction comes down to this 6. Okay, going through that capacitor. That one and this one are tied. And this is tied back to A, so that's my other leg. Okay, so by redrawing it, now you can see that all of these are in parallel with each other. Okay. They're all in parallel, which means they all just add up. C equivalence on this is just going to be 4 plus the 2.92 plus the 6. Should give you a 12.92. And our terms all along were micro. Uh, farad. I have to change that. Okay, it's a microfarad, not a microcoulomb. Microfarad. Okay.